All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for our next deck, Demir Quasi Sacrifice. So I call this uh, Demir Quasi Sacrifice. Um, uh, oh, really? Better lucky than good? Well, there, yeah, it's real close to this. Um, uh, so I call this sac Demir Quasi Sacrifice because of our uh, sacrifice creatures with, or our sacrifice effects with Plague Crafter and Eldest Reborn. So we got lots of sacrifice things. Um, there, those are good, especially Playcrafter is really good against Mono Blue. Um, how they have like their dive downs and spell pierces to try to protect their creature. Can't do that with, can't protect it from a Playcrafter. Eldershborn is awesome against like Drakes. Uh, in particular, uh, I switched to this version mostly because of uh, is it Drakes being pretty popular the last format. Um, is whenever we switched over to the Play Crafters and Eldritch Reborns over other options. Um, and with how, and how it's, it's kind of coming back these days. I've been playing against a, a decent amount of Is It Drakes. And so I thought it may be fun to bring back uh, Demir Quasi Sacrifice. Also, Hasa Shaker just seems to be awesome in this metagame. Uh, so let's get a bunch, do a bunch of cool Hasa Shaker stuff. Um, and. Yeah, so we got we got mass manipulation in our sideboard for the soul tie matchup. Um, Unmoored ego in for Nexus because uh, I I imagine that Nexus is going to be Simic Nexus would be a tough matchup for us. Um, but there we go. Let's give it a try. How do we beat control decks with this? Yeah, we just kind of beat them down with like little one ones. We just kind of play some crappy creatures and attack. That's really all we do. <laughs> That's really about it. Um, you know, we just kind of hold back. And uh, the thing about control deck, like Esper control really relies on Teferi, right? Well, we have a lot of good answers for Teferi, the four Plague Crafters and four Eldest Reborn. So we kind of sit back and like take out their Teferis, you know? And, and like while we're sitting back taking out Teferis, we're just chipping away with these crappy little creatures. Nope, no gutter bones. We're not an aggressive deck. This is a, this is really a controlling deck. Um, it's like the control side of mid range. This is a deck that's trying to outgrind everything. Um, I already, already paid the gold. I wanted to use some gems, but oh well. Quasi duplicate is on. Uh, we want to use that on mostly on uh, Chupacabra and Hostage Taker. Those are like the best things to quasi duplicate. Um, to kind of just keep on getting the two for ones there. Find Finality is a good card, um, and it could be kind of a good option for the deck. Yeah, it would just be fine. But we have some Immortal of Follies. Ugh. Well, these hands haven't looked so good. This doesn't look so good. We never saw more than one land in any hand. We have 25 lands in here, so that's pretty unfortunate. Our seven had one land, our six had one land, our five had one land, and then after a scry. All right, so we're playing against Bant Nexus. So let's have Duress, Bloodfast, Negate, not Cast Down, um, Ego Spyglass. Unfortunately, the control decks, we actually board out Quasi-Duplicate, even though it's a pretty sweet card. I think I can just take out Eldest Reborns as well. Um, I guess maybe I'd take out a couple Troops. I do kind of like Choops. Ah, Plague Mare. Plague Mare's out. All right, how is this looking? Yeah, I mean, I think that Mulligan rule is, is fine and standard, but I, I would be pretty worried about um, the new Mulligan rule um, in older formats. 
Um, I think it makes the de degenerate combo decks even more degenerate. Like it, it's already so hard to play like a fair deck in modern, for example. And I can't really imagine playing a fair deck in modern with with that mulligan rule. Well, I wish we didn't have two immortal suns in our hand. So our hand's not perfect. I mean, we have zero zero of our sideboard cards. Um, but hopefully the squires help us just hit some land drops. Maybe we'll just never draw a land. You never know. As far as like cars I wanted to draw, you know, with our three draw steps, I think Chupacabra, Chupacabra is pretty low on that list of cards I wanted to draw. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Yeah, Immortal Sun having Indestructible, I think would be pretty nice also. Yeah, I could certainly see this having Indestructible. Well, I'd like to find a sideboard card at some point, you know, like a Duress or a Negate or a Spyglass for us Cant of the Sunken Ruin or an Unmoored Ego. You know, and any of like the you know, eight or nine or ten or whatever, how many cyborg cards we brought in. I'd like to draw any of them at some point. Oh yeah, London Mulligan roll with that just makes Tron so good. Oh man, yeah, Tron is just kind of is just really broken. You only need you only need like three cards with Tron. Yeah, you just look at your seven. Do you have Tron? No. Look at your set. Look at a new seven. Do you have Tron? No. Wow. Yeah, that makes Tron incredibly good. Yeah, I mean, it just helps all of those all those kind of decks. Basically, every single deck in Modern that's not trying to interact with the opponent, which is basically every single deck in Modern, it just helps those decks so much. Um, I mean, it's just really like... The thing is, it, it just makes Grishel Brand so much more, because all you need for like a turn two win with Grishel Brand is just like, you know, a land of Faithless Looting, um, a Grishel Brand, and a... And a Whatever that Shoals card, or and then um, and then Agorio's Vengeance. All you need is just that, and you can just win on turn two. You know, before all the other decks. Just make it just as easy to find the hate cards. I suppose, but if you're like always, if you're 
you know, like always down a game. It's kind, it's kind of hard. No, Legacy is not filled with Goldfish decks. Legacy is... Legacy is like the slowest of the formats. It has a... Like the best decks in Legacy are... Are... Decks that take a long time to win. Alright, new matchup. That one was pretty tough. I think that is going to be... You know, that's going to be maybe our worst matchup overall, but... Yeah, was, you can kind of see that with our, our draws there. But yeah, it, it, for modern in particular, I I would hate that mulligan roll. Hmm. I was hoping that the squire would draw me a land because you know because the one two body um, is just fine if we're going to sacrifice it to play crafter. So I was, I was hoping to get an extra land there. Um, Quasi duplicate going to the graveyard isn't so bad though, because um, even though it's we're not we're not drawing a, a card, but it's it's kind of like drawing a card because we can get to jump start that from the graveyard. Oh no! Tokens. No, the the bane of sacrifice effects. <laughs> no. Um. Let's see. Um, so I, I can quasi duplicate the, the squire, uh, but that's not necessarily doing a whole lot for us. Let's just get this tap land in now and chupacabra and I'm probably going to quasi duplicate copy the chupacabra. I, I can discard the play crafter, uh, to copy the chupacabra. Any predictions for tomorrow? Ooh. Nobody's actually asked about predictions for tomorrow yet. Um, will Nexus be broken? I don't I don't think so. I don't think Nexus will be broken. Um, the most likely successful deck to be coming out of left field. I mean it. It may be the four color gates nexus deck as far as decks from out of left field. Uh, oh, I mean, well, it's not really you know out of left field, but it's not like a it's not like a super popular deck or anything. Tomorrow's the beginning of the pro tour. And yes, that's a it's a proposed change to Mulligans. Uh, that it's well, it's scheduled to occur during one event in April, and um, see how it goes from there. Mike, you got to use your Twitch Prime sub. Got to keep up on that. I need one more sub also to get to twenty-five. Let's tear this place. That's apart. all you, Mike. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Hmm. Do I get Eldritch Reborn going? Or do I... Do I copy Chupacabra, kill the kill this thing, attack Vivian for four? Um, let's just attack here first. I'll let them block. And then uh, I'm gonna Eldest Reborn. Most wounds can heal. Um, I could see Gruul, Gruul and Teamer aggro decks being pretty popular, uh, spe specifically, um, or even Simic, like Gruul, Simic, uh, Teamer. I could see like the, basically the green creature aggro decks being pretty popular. 
Sometimes um, restoration means retribution. I, I personally like having blue in the decks myself for like Hadana's Climb and Counter Magic. Um, I could see those being because Hadana's Climb is awesome, and so I, I could see aggro decks with Climb and Counter Magic being popular. Not bad for a mouse. Well, even though um, our opponent had like that, the creature token, you know, like the, the creature that made two bodies and everything, but they haven't done anything since then. Like they've had lots of mana all these times, but they haven't been doing anything. Hey, there we go, Mike. Thanks for resubbing there with Twitch Prime. Let's get some hype in the chat for our resub. Uh, they probably had more Song of Freilies. 25. That means it's going to be pack time. Pack time. Pack time. Ooh, aggro needs selfless spirit. Maybe I should just actually I probably should have just copied the the chupacabra and just killed that. What is this thing? I don't know. It's kicked to it does some stuff. Still says 99 here. That that number didn't update. There you go. Thanks, Mike. Um, yeah, these Song of Freelises have just been terrible. Never liked that card. We don't need to play Immortal Sun. We got Lethal here. Got a Grixis draft deck with Ral as a Viceroy and Thousand Year Storm. <laughs> nice. I, I wouldn't recommend playing Thousand Year Storm. I, I don't think that would be very good. But. Um, yeah, Ral is awesome. Play that. Let's get Mass Manipulation and a couple, pla and a couple Plague Mares. And I'm going to take out two Eldest Reborns and a Plague Crafter. Um, maybe I just take out all the plague crafters. No, we got the plague mares in here now. I'm basically not taking out more. I'm taking out more eldest reborns over plague crafters because of the mana cost. Um, but there we go. <laughs> You're going all in. <laughs> nice. He pulled off emergency powers. Uh. And a uh, thousand year storm combo. That is awesome. Okay, I need to make a Need to make something for Demir, quasi sacrifice. Are oh, we to go first? That's so nice of you, opponent.
Dun 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 dun. Give me that. We are taking that hostage. All right, thumbnail ready to go. Give me that. Dude, Hostage Taker is messed up. Poor green player. Gonna get all their things taken. Walk out the door. Oh, I want to break free. Isn't this such a good song for a hostage taker? It's a good call. Good call, Dirk. Yeah, that's a Druid of the Cowl singing it. Alright, only because I'm not a quitter. We can't, I mean, we can't, uh... Can't give them anything. That's why I'm not, that's what I meant. Like, not, not that I'm not a quitter, but we just can't give them... Can't let them have it, anything. Not even Carnage Tyrant, nothing. Gotta get rid of everything. All right, one on one. If we face green creature decks the entire time that have no removal, we will we will win. We will go five and zero. Oh. Mono green is usually good against like mono red, just because they have like such bigger creatures and stuff. My hand's not very good. Hmm. Gonna have, to, gonna have to draw some lands here. I probably shouldn't have kept this. Overgrown Tomb, Sun Petal Grove, Discovery, Surveil over Deafening Clarion. And us not draw any lands. Yeah, if you want to see the, the deck list, you can do exclamation point deck list, or decks. Sorry. Oh, there you go. Dirk, Dirk sent you that way. Hooray! Finally found a land. There's only the fifth card down. Looks like four color control. Five color? Yeah, I guess five color. Hmm. When the fist of the Alright, taking a squire. Uh Protecting a squire from like a sweeper. Certainly see them having a sweeper, and then they they cast like whatever sweeper, then we get our secret squire back into play. Nope. I don't, I don't really have anything against enchantments too much. Nope. I right, think this is five color lich.
It's not a land. I really want the sixth mana for Immortal Sun. And no, I'm not recasting the Squire. This Squire is just going to chill over here behind the Hostage Taker. So whenever they do use uh, some kind of Sweeper, um, it goes back into play. Hooray! Sixth land. I have Spyglass for as can to the Sunken Ruin. See? They play their sweeper. I still have a Squire. That's good hostage taking. So we're going to make them discard a card. And I'll draw two. Oh, these are all four threes. They have Deafening Clarion. I should have I should have sacked the Playcrafter and kept the Squire in play, I think. Yeah, I guess this is Lich's Mastery. They got a chance for glory. I've only played against Lich's Mastery like two or three times ever. Oh, my computer. Laggy. Alright, I'm, I'm going to have to reset here. It is not... It's not working. My opponent can kind of do whatever they're whatever they're supposed to be doing. Who knows what they're going to be doing? Whatever they're doing, they can do it. So sorry about this. All right, it's my turn. What do they do? Cast some revitalizes. Um Just throw an Eldritch Reborn out here, I guess. Make him discard a card. It's not much interaction, but it's got to be it's some kind of interaction. Have them discard a card. Yeah, winning this game doesn't doesn't look too likely. Revitalizes are gaining our opponent a whole lot of life, though. Yeah, you, you certainly have to be worried about, ra like, Rao milling yourself. You have to be really careful of in limited. Yeah, you got to be real careful of that. Okay. 
Can I make them discard, like, all their cards? Alright, so if I... Memorial of Holly back Play Crafter, Play Play Crafter, Copy Play Crafter, I can make them discard two cards? I do need to worry about uh, killing myself, or like me dying. So I'm, I'm going to be sacking this Midnight Reaper that's a token. Sure. And sacking that token. So if they get back Banefire, they get to do 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'd, I don't want to make it a, a land drop and I'm dead, so I'm, I'm not going to play this Dusk Legion Zealot that would kill me. Yeah, because I can do 11 now. But they got Clarion. Probably how they what they need to do to stay alive, I suppose. Alright, so Banefire. If they draw a new Banefire, it kills me. Alright, so let's let's definitely make them discard that Lich's Mastery. I'm gonna make them discard their whole hand. But of course they have the Ascanta going. Alright, so they're out of cards. What do they got? Uh, looks like they drew a Clarion. Oh, a chance for glory. That's a really good draw step. We get to copy. Wow. And then they find Lich's Mastery. I don't think that could have gone better. Yeah, don't, don't think that could have gone better. Oh, no, never mind, yeah, just acquisition. Wow, those were the, the three best cards they could find. Yeah, Banefire, I guess, just, yeah, kills us to begin with. What am I even unmoored egoing? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's the second time we get paired against a completely non-creature deck. Um, which is not, not good for us. You know, our deck is built to beat creatures. So, playing these non-creature decks. Not what we want to face. Spyglass can name Ascanta the Sunken Ruin. That's what we need. Is, we need to shut down Ascanta. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with the Unmorty Go. I mean, I can I can just say Lich's Mastery, I suppose, but I could do Banefire. I I don't even know. I kind of hope I don't draw Unmorty Go, honestly. Oh yeah, Mirari's Conjecture. That could be that could be a good thing to to unmoor ego. Well, we saw our opponent had main deck Bane Fire, so Ego's like the kind of card I would I would want like two of, because yeah, M Masterbind's acquisition could be the the thing to do. I could see that. So I'm just drawing two here to, to try to hit a land drop, and then we can play Bloodfast also. Uh, wrong land. That's a land drop, though. So we just play Divination, plus they discard a card. It's kind of like build your own disinformation campaign. Um, except for we actually got to draw two because of two Reapers. Alright, they chose a card from outside the game. Okay. Just a couple of Midnight Reapers getting it done. I mean, I guess Plague Mare just being a, an attacker is maybe better than Eldest Reborn. Um, just being this thing that can attack. Quickly. GG. Negate on treasure map was probably pretty crucial. Alright, can we get... Game number three against the the all spell deck. So Spyglass can also name Treasure Map. So we saw them have Treasure Map there. That could be another thing to Spyglass. Thaumatic Compass. Thief of Sanity. At least they, they can't play Thief this turn. I now wish this Plaguecraft, this Plague Mare was a... Uh, There we go.
wish I would have kept that Immortals on there. Right about now. We only had the four lands, but I guess I did have like the Squire and the Zealot that could find more lands. Really wish I would have kept that Immortal Sun. I think we're pretty far behind. Get him, horse. Get him. Sure, I think we'll just draw the next card anyway. Can I get that Immortal Sun back? Made a big mistake. Battle of Immortal Sons. Can we draw a Hostage Taker, please? Hostage Taker, like, would let us take their Immortal Son. That'd be nice. I just realized they have all these artifacts, and we we have, like, Hostage Taker. You know, we're a 4x Hostage Taker deck. I didn't sideboard any Hostage Takers out. I could just take any of these. I could take, like, their Chromatic Lantern or something. I can't take enchantments. No instance. They have Sorcery they can go get, though. Oh, maybe I should have played this last turn. It would have put lethal on the battlefield. I wasn't really looking at that. I mean, they're just going to go get... I mean, they're just going to re-get their uh, Cleansing Nova. I don't think I can stop that from happening. Let's draw a card. Yeah, I can empty their hand, but they have like a mortal son that draws the multiple cards and everything. So Zealot's basically a draw two, uh, considering we have the Midnight Reaper. At least we drew, we drew a lot of cards here. I have nothing, but we're going to draw a lot of cards. That's a good one. That would have been nice to have a little earlier. No hostage taker. Come on, hostage taker. Hostage taker. Tilt. I have not played a land yet, right? So 
So all they need is a land drop, and then Thaumatic Compass uh, it turns into the, the maze. Oh, uh, come on. This, this match is going to take a while. Marari's Conjecture is busted. We'll see what happens. I don't <clears throat> I don't know if I was supposed to not negate. I, I just we really haven't had very much experience with my opponent's deck or really know ex you know a whole lot about it. I don't know if I was supposed to just not negate the Mirari's conjecture and you know see if there's a Lich's mastery with like with like this trigger you know like with this chance for glory trigger. Um, maybe because of this, I'm, I'm supposed to wait like that Mirari, uh, conjecture doesn't save them kind of thing. I'm just honestly not a hundred percent sure. I just don't, I don't really know. And that's okay. Mirror Manning saying that that's the case that I, I should have waited, um, because of that trigger. Finally. Bane fire is so rude. All right, so I need to save my my counter spell there um, for the Lich's mastery. Well, that's a kind of an unfortunate league for us uh, going with the one two. Um, you know, played against a couple non non creature decks, which is rough for us. And I think I, I guess I could have. Um, I guess I could have probably won that if I would have held my negate. Um, but we saw like the, we did get to see how versatile the this deck is still, um, and everything. And uh, you think you think I would have lost anyway? Um, I'm yeah. I just probably would have. Um, so. Yeah, I think I'm going to play this deck again uh, on Monday during the 12-hour stream, uh, for sure. Uh, this is, you know, I think this is an uh, interesting deck, and um, I think it's at a, a pretty good spot in the metagame, except for, like, the non-creature decks are, are tough. But I think this could be pretty good against the newer versions of Sultai and uh, Drakes and Mono Blue and all that kind of things, but... 
There we go, Demir Quasi Sacrifice. If you want something a little a little different, you like playing your Demir stuff, try this deck out. Um, it felt pretty good. Immortal Sun was awesome. That card's great. And uh, there we go. I have these these two drops because these two drops help us hit our land drops to get to like Immortal Sun. We saw how, like that was kind of important. Um, that's why I don't I don't have like the two mana death touch thing because that thing doesn't draw cards and get towards land drops where these do. So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, cool. Yeah, Mirror Manning. Yeah, glad you think this is a really cool list, even though, you know, we don't want to. But, yeah, it's a real short sample. Uh, I think it's a, a good list. Um, so, yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching Demir Quasi-Sacrifice. I'll see